Hi there everybody, today we're going to look at converting area, um, specifically the units of area, um, or squared units. All right, there is another lesson about converting units, so you might want to look at that one before this one, um, but there seem to be a few a few people who struggle in terms of converting, converting certainly area or volume of units, so we're looking at both of those today. Right, so when you're looking at converting square units, you've got to remember that you are multiplying not just one dimension, you're multiplying two dimensions. So if you have to do from meters to centimeters, then you need to multiply by 100, all right? But if you're doing from meters squared to centimeter squared, because you're talking two dimensions, you can multiply by 100 in both dimensions, so 100 squared, all right, which is 10,000. All right, so just a bit of a quick tip before we kind of look at it. Um, so obviously understanding the units is important, but a tip for this one, if you're converting to a smaller unit, so if, you, if your unit is smaller, then your number is going to get bigger, so you need to multiply. If you convert it to a bigger unit, then obviously your units, your, your value must be smaller, so you need to divide. Right, so let's have a look. So four centimeters squared to millimeter squared. Well, my unit gets smaller, so my answer must be bigger. So I'm going to times it by 10, because that's conversion between millimeters and centimeters, twice. So it's going to times it by 100, so it'll be 400 millimeters squared. Seven kilometers to meters squared, sorry, seven kilometers squared to meters squared. Well, kilometers to meters, the conversion is a thousand. So I am going to times it by a thousand twice. So it's going to be seven million. All right, so times it by a thousand twice. And again, sometimes when people see that, I think they're off book because I think they're not expecting a big number. Um, but actually, that's definitely right. Right, so what about 8,000 millimeters squared to centimeters squared? Well, the conversion is 10. Well, 10 millimeters in a centimeter. My unit gets bigger, so I need to divide by 10 twice. So I'll divide by 100, which is going to give me um, 8. Actually, it's not it's not here. It should be it should be 8, shouldn't it? And I'm divided by oh no, it is 80. Ignore me. Yeah, I divided by 100, so it's going to give me 80. So that's absolutely right. Um, and then 1,400 centimeters to meter squared. Well, I'm going from centimeters to meters, so the conversion is 100 centimeters. So I need to divide by 100 twice which is going to give me 0.14 meters squared. Okay, right, so that's kind of the process, that's the kind of idea. So we're just going to move on and relate that to cube units, but essentially the method is very much the same. In the conversion is that rather than converting it once, or in terms of squared twice, or in terms of cubed units, you're going to do it three times, all right? So convert meters to centimeters, you must multiply by 100. But to convert meters cubed to centimeters cubed, you're going to multiply by 100 cubed three times. Okay? All right. So, same as before, if your units are smaller, um, so you convert it to a smaller unit, they're going to multiply. If you convert it to a bigger unit, they're going to divide. So, six meters cubed to centimeters cubed. Well, your unit is getting smaller, so you're going to multiply. And you multiply by 100, because that's a conversion. So, you're going to multiply by 100 three times. All right, so it is going to be 6 times 100 cubed, which is going to be 6 million centimetres cubed. All right, that's actually reality. So if you have a sum which is 6 metres cubed, that is 6 million centimetres cubed. Um, so 4.2 kilometres cubed to metres cubed. Well, this is going to be big, isn't it? Because I'm going to go from 4.2, um, and I'm going to times it by 1,000 three times which is going to give me that number. So it's going to be 4,200 million meters cubed, which is absolutely huge. But then 4.2 kilometers cubed will be big. Um, <coughs> the other way around, so 3,000 centimeters cubed to meters cubed. Well, my unit is getting uh, bigger, so my value must get smaller. And the conversion is 100, so I do need to divide it by 100 three times. So it's going to be 0 0.003 meters cubed. So it's getting quite small. And then this one, <coughs> well, I've got 83,000 meters cubed to kilometers cubed. Well, it, it, the conversion is 1,000, so I need to divide by 1,000 three times, which is going to give me 0 0.000083 kilometers cubed. All right, so that's it in a nutshell. So by all means, if you feel obviously you need some practice and there's no, no harm in doing that, um, please go to maths-school.co.uk, and there's obviously a bunch of questions on there for you to have a go at. Um, and please make sure when you're looking at square and cube units that you concentrate very, very carefully in terms of how many times you times or multiply something by. Okay, thanks for listening.